Let's define torque. Torque is a measure of rotational force or how much force an object can exert on another object to cause it to rotate. It's typically measured in pound feet or foot pound or Newton meters nm. Torque is often described as the twisting force of an engine and is responsible for a vehicle's low end power and acceleration. Now let's talk about horsepower. Horsepower is a measure of power or how quickly work can be done. It is typically measured in horsepower HP or watts named after the guy that invented the whole you know, process. Horsepower is often associated with high end speed and power. So why is it important to understand the difference between horsepower and torque? Well, when it comes down to acceleration, a vehicle's acceleration can be affected by a balance of torque and horsepower. For example, an engine with high torque output may have a strong acceleration off the line, but may not have the same level of acceleration at, at a, like higher speeds, say 60, 70 miles an hour. Um, on the other hand, a vehicle with high horsepower output may not have as much low end acceleration, such as off the line, things like that, um, as a vehicle with high torque output, but it may be way better at acceleration at higher speeds because of the RPM range. It's important to consider both torque and horsepower choosing an engine and vehicle, as they both have an impact on acceleration. If looking for a vehicle with strong low end acceleration, a high torque output may be more important to you. But if you're looking for a vehicle that has strong acceleration at higher speeds, highway runs, a high horsepower output may be more important for your application. So how are torque and horsepower related? Well, the relationship between torque and horsepower can be described by the following equation. Horsepower equals torque times RPM divided by 5252. This is where dynamos tend to overlap. This equation shows that horsepower is a function of torque and engine speed itself. So more low end horsepower, usually more low end torque as well. Let's look at an example to better understand this relationship. Imagine we have a car with an engine that produces 200 foot pounds of torque at 2000 RPM. Using the equation, we can calculate the horsepower to be approximately 75 horsepower. Now let's say we increase the torque of this engine to 300 foot pounds. The horsepower would be approximately 113 horsepower. As we can see, the increase in torque had a significant impact on the horsepower at low engine speeds. What if we kept the torque the same, but increased the engine speed to 4,000 RPM? The horsepower would increase to approximately 150 horsepower. As we can see, the increase in engine speed had a greater impact on the horsepower than the increase in torque at high engine speeds. So the relationship between torque and horsepower is complex and depends on the engine speed. At low engine speeds, an increase in torque can result in a significant increase in horsepower. At high engine speeds, an increase in horsepower is more likely to come from an increase in engine speed rather than an increase in torque at the low end. By understanding the difference between torque and horsepower and how they're related, we can make the right choice for your build. It's important to consider both torque and horsepower as they can both have an impact on a vehicle's performance and capabilities.